y'all. So I just got home from work and my Sephora package just got here. So I wanted to show you guys my little haul and by little, I mean a lot. Um, so yeah, um, I got some stuff from Ulta too. Um, I already opened that one, that box, but I have not opened my Sephora. I took like the packaging out, but I haven't even really looked. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. I had a 20% off coupon at, um, <clears throat> Ulta and then the 20% off Rouge sale at Sephora. There may be a couple more things I'm going to pick up this weekend. I haven't fully decided yet, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, what I got. So first thing I got and I actually tried today. It's what's on my skin right now in combination with my CYO foundation. This is the um, Makeup Revolution foundation stick. This is so good. Like um, this is the first day I'm wearing it. Um, I remember I work for like eight to ten hours every day. So my dry spots are a little dry still but this is the best foundation stick i got the shade f2 and for reference that's what it looks like um online it looks a lot more yellow and it actually is described as a yellow um but it's definitely more cool tone more my skin so this is the only one i found that wasn't super yellow so this is the most i don't even know how to explain it like most Stick foundations, I feel, are more dry. This is the most emollient. That's a good word for it. Emollient um, foundation. So, I really liked how this wore today. And then I got a little gift set for my mom for Christmas. Um, I try to get my Christmas shopping done a little earlier this year. This is a little um, five-piece brush set. And this was like $48. And I think it's like a $100 value. And it comes with a little bag. I don't know if you guys can see that little bag right there. But something cute for my mom for Christmas. And then I already kind of broke this by accident. But this is the Glossy Wonderland Gloss. And I usually don't have my bed in the shot. But I don't know. I felt like doing something different today. Um, but these are them. It's by Dose of Colors. I love their lip gloss formula. So I wanted to try something different so these are the colors it's got the colors naughty dress up angel and photo op so this one is naughty and these are like little minis so that's like a deeper color and I honestly love keeping stuff like this in my desk at work because once my original lipstick wears off I just Kind of pop on a gloss the rest of the day. This is Photo Up. Which is, they are very warm, which I was not expecting, but that's okay. I need some warmth in my life. This one is Angel. And I believe this one was 25 originally before the discount. So that's like a pinky color. And then Dress Up, which I think is also a pinky color. Um, so these are really good nudes. So they're definitely on the warm side. So if you do not like warm colors, I don't know if you'll like this. Let me wipe that off. Okay, now on to Sephora, which I went kind of crazy. Like, my box is huge. Okay, so there is so much in this box that I am so excited for. So I don't know where to start, so I'm just gonna grab stuff. Okay, so the first thing is the Jouer Blush Duo. I got the shade Adore. I was in between Coquette and Adore, um, but I decided I wanted something more neutral, so the packaging is so pretty. And that's what it looks like. These are really, really pretty neutral colors. You can see that. Let me try to. Oh, that's the wrong color. Let me try to build up this one. And just for fun, let's put some on the face. I'm trying to find a blush brush that doesn't have anything on it. Comes with a little thing, which I like to keep to mix my foundation in the morning. 
So we'll go with that lighter color and then the deeper color. And then if you go too heavy handed, you can use the lighter color on top. So I'm super excited about this. Like every, pretty much everything that's been on my wish list, I kind of went ham and got. I got this little thing for my boyfriend because he has dandruff. So it's like a little trial size of the Barogio charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. Oh, it smells very minty. So that's what it looks like. So that is for him. He is actually out of town right now, so that will be something nice for him to come back to. I don't know what this... Oh, this is my Natasha Denona. So I got the Star Palette by Natasha Denona. This is the mini star because I ain't about to spend $100. Oh my god, it is so small. Like, on camera, let me... Let me put it next to, like... So this is like the Jaclyn Hill vault compared to this one. So it is super tiny. So you kind of know why it's $25. Okay, so it comes with these shades. Cosmo, Earth, Bellatrix, At Attic, and Orion. So there is Cosmo, which reminds me a lot of Insomnia by um, Makeup Geek. There is Earth, we have uh, Bellatrix, which is like a coppery, and then we have, sorry this is hard, <laughs> Attic, that's what it looks like, it's A-T-I-K, so I'm not sure, and then Orion. That's that one. So those are the swatches. So I'm really excited to try this. I think I'm actually going to wear this tomorrow and see how that goes. But it is super tiny for $25. Just saying. This is the ooh, this is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is supposed to be like the best primer for smoothing out your pores. It is a really good size. So that's what it looks like. Doesn't really have a scent. So super excited to try that. Ooh, I don't want everything to fall. Okay, just two more things. But one of the things um, may take me a while to go through everything. So this is the Laneige, Laneige, however you say it, um, little gift set. And this is just for me because this is my favorite lip balm. So I want some of these for work. It comes in the normal big scents. And then grapefruit, apple, and vanilla. So I want to smell these. The grapefruit one doesn't really smell like anything. Vanilla one is a maybe a hint. A hint. Yeah, they all don't really smell that strong, which is fine because you don't want your lip masks. So these are actually going to go in my purse. So that is super exciting. And then the big thing, the big thing I spent a whole lot of money on. This is $75. $95 value. This is the... Peter Thomas Roth mask set and holy guacamole I am so excited to try this y'all don't even know let me try to open it so it comes with six masks a normal mask um, on this line is about $58 and um, so these are uh, so $75 and it's half the size of each mask, so you're essentially getting, like, three full masks for $65. Or $75, sorry. Right? Is that right? I hope, like, that's making sense. But anyway, so, let me show you guys. 
the first one, and this is also really good to use the mask so you know which one you like the best, um, and you can buy a full size whenever you're ready. So Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. I'm so excited. This is probably like the thing I'm most excited for. Oh, that's goopy. Oh. Um, it definitely smells like mud and they are filled like, if you guys can see, like they are filled to the top. So that, that's really good. Like some, um, minis, even though I don't know if you guys would consider this a mini, aren't, aren't full to the top like that lineage. Like, I don't know. Um, this is purifying, refining, deconditioning, hydrating mask. That's what I like to see. Purifying and hydrating because a lot of purifying stuff is super drying um the seaweed in it hydrates the volcanic ash revitalizes activated charcoal draws out toxins and impurities and minimizes the looks of pores i just want to put all these on my face right now like i'm not even kidding <laughs> okay this one is a Hungarian thermal water mask. So an atomic flash of water activated heat nourishes and restores for smoother, smooth, why can I not talk today? Smoother, younger, healthier looking skin with minerals from deep within the earth's crust and botanical extracts of beech tree buds, rosemary, sunflower, apricot, peach, almond, rosehip, seed, pomegranate, elderberry, jojoba, and olive and shea. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this one's actually sealed. That's weird. That's the only one in there. So this one is not as filled, just no scent. Absolutely none. I don't smell anything. Then we have the gold mask. Oh, I can get it out. So this is the gold mask. This is 24 karat gold mask. Ultimate luxurious anti-aging treatment. Pure 24K, or so, sorry, 24K gold and colloidal gold help lift and firm. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna read every single one because y'all are probably gonna get bored. So this one's fold to the top. Doesn't really smell like anything, but. Oh girl, that looks so nice. So it says, for this one it says, apply to uh, clean skin, remain five to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly, use two to three times a week. I'm saving my most excited one for last. These are in there y'all. Okay, so this one is a cucumber gel mask. So this is a cooling moisturizing gel, helps soothe the look of dry skin so i think i may use this one tonight if i don't use the one i'm most excited about um let's see um this one it says put in the refrigerator to like give a really nice cooling sensation um if you need intensive hydration you can use it for Then we have the Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Gel Mask. Um, and this says it isolates and replicates 5% rose plant stem cells. It doesn't say what it's for. Oh, hydrate, brighten, firm, make you look young. This is probably like the longest part of the video. I really like how my face looks right now with this blush. Sorry. So this is the one I'm most excited for if you are basic and white or just basic. Um, I love pumpkin anything. Pumpkin candles, pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin cheesecake. I'm not, I don't really like pumpkin pie, but this is the pumpkin enzyme mask. So it is intensive skin resurfacer mask. Exfoliates with pumpkin enzymes, peels with blah, blah, blah. Helps reveal skin that looks smoother, younger, and more radiant. So, please be full. 
Okay, this one's full. So it looks like that second mask. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so bad. Sorry, I didn't check that last one to see if it was full. Did I? I don't remember. I'll do it again in case I didn't. That one has like a clean smell, but I just want to smell that pumpkin mask again because I am so excited. It seriously smells just like pumpkin cheesecake so much. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, so yeah, I, the only other things, and I probably won't do a video with this, is some lip products because it's 20% off. And then I'm thinking about getting that Tatcha Pearl for underneath the eyes. Um, I have not been using concealer. So if you guys can see, like, I'm trying to show you. That's probably not good for my eye. But there's, like, no creasing. Um, I use the Maybelline Asia Wind. And it has worked super duper well for me. So if you're in your 30s or older or getting close, I'm 28 and I feel like powder just separates and I look weird and I look crepey. It makes me look I'm, like I'm 50. And so I've just decided no more powder. The only places I have to powder is essentially like here down. And the reason for that is because I'm on the phone all day at work. Um... And I've noticed like my phone, the days I don't set my face, even some days that when I do set my face, there's like little marks on the phone on where my foundation was. I'm like trying to get it off. So, um, that's just your little advice. So if you're getting older, the less powder, the better coat your face in setting spray. So all that powder blends in. But if you guys can see my face, like there's some spots that I've had acne, um, but it's not, it's not terrible. Um, but like far away, I look normal. Now if you're like looking real close, it still looks pretty good. Like for me, this is good. Normally all right here is separated. So that's my little tidbit. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, whatever time you are, whatever country, wherever. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.